All right guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to give you a review of the Castle X CX100 carbon helmet and their stage goggles, so stay tuned. All right, the CX100 carbon helmet. Uh, dare I say this is probably my most favorite product from Castle X that I have, um, and probably the most, I mean my favorite helmet that I've ever ran, both in the moto scene and the snowmobile scene. So. Um, that's saying a lot. Uh, fully carbon fiber helmet. The large is 1,250 grams. Super lightweight. I mean, you cannot go wrong with how light this helmet is. It is featherweight. In fact, when you put it on, you really, you really can't tell that you're wearing a helmet, if I'm being totally honest with you. Um, carbon fiber design is amazing. They've done a great job of making this really nice, really neat, really clean. Um, the mold is awesome. Uh, and as far as the outside go, the aesthetics are great this is a sick helmet um, aluminum fasteners for your visor um, and very durable as you can see i've got my gopro mount attached to the top and then i also have a gopro mount here with the gopro mount still attached i probably should have taken that off for the video um, but it is there and uh, no problems with durability and i've taken a few hits on this helmet um, and i can't believe that they're not showing up on this but um, goes to show the durability of the outside layering the venting on it is super nice because not only does it have this um, wire screen, but it's also got some mesh on the inside that doesn't allow snow to intrude into the helmet. So really awesome there. Got more venting up here, more venting right here at the brow. Um, really awesome through and through um, as far as the outside goes. Can't go wrong. Now um, on the back side, you've got, uh, or sorry, on the bottom side, you have your cheek pads that have these removable pull tabs right here. So if you do get in an accident and the helmet does need to be removed, you can pull these tabs and they will remove the cheek pads totally all in one hit. So you don't have to, you don't have to fit angle a, a helmet off somebody that could possibly have an injury to their neck or their back or something like that. And um, this will allow you to remove it very, very easily. Double D ring clo uh, closure right there, like a normal, you know, motorcycle helmet or anything. I actually have a quick release um, buckle on here um, that I put on all my helmets, uh, at least my snow helmets, um, that allow me to use my gloves and take it off very quickly. Um, so just a little feature there. Um, and as far as the inside goes, everything on the inside is totally removable and washable. So, you know, you can go ahead and take that apart. I've washed this multiple times, still holding up durable. Um, foam expands the way it should be. Um, everything about it's great. Now, as far as your, um, your mouth area here, they do have a breath box option. So if you want to run a breath box, which allows your breath to funnel down instead of up into your goggles, that is an option. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to next year. So um, I will give you guys more of a review on that next season. It is DOT and ECE approved. So for those of you that ride trails and that cross the roads all the time, things like that, it is a DOT approved helmet. So um, more venting up here on the top. I just, it, it's a great helmet. I have nothing but good things to say about it. Um, and if you're looking for a carbon helmet, this is a very affordable helmet for what it is. Um, most carbon helmets, you're running about the $500 mark. This one is going to be about $330. And a lot of times at Castle Sales, you can check out their website and get this on sale. So go check it out. The CX100 carbon warp helmet or carbon wrap helmet, sorry. And uh, super lightweight, super durable, and by far my favorite helmet. All right, now to go with our helmet and to complement our helmet perfectly, we have the Castle X stage goggles. And I have got to say, um, these goggles were built to go with this helmet and they fit perfectly. So um, I'll post a couple pictures up here of how this setup looks together, but these goggles are amazing. They complement the CX100 perfectly. And here's the best part about these goggles. They're very versatile. The nose piece is removable, so if you don't want to run the nose piece, you can pull it off. Um, on the back side, look at the amount of sealing edge that you have on these goggles. It is amazing. I have never had snow intrusion inside these goggles, but yet they still allow you to vent the heat that comes off of your head very easily. Now, this has that rose look through the inside, or I guess rose color, they call it. Um, so very, very nice on top of the reflective outside. Um, now, Castle has these goggles with this amazing idea here to have these straps come further out 
and away from the helmet. So when you put this on your helmet, let me kind of just show you guys real quick. When you put this on the helmet, normally your straps are going to be about right inside here and not outside on the outside. So when I wrap this all the way around my helmet and get all that tension on it, you can see that the straps are not kicking out and then around. They are just wrapping perfectly around the helmet because of these extensions on the outside. So super awesome goggles that way. And you can see the ceiling outside surface there is just awesome. So, um, like I said, if you don't want to run the nose piece, you don't have to, I do helps deflect the snow. And then with the breath box in the helmet, if you were to run that, that would completely close this area off and you would basically be snowproof. So really awesome. The way that they've got these built to complement each other, um, very, very well. So these are the castle X stage goggles and, um, I've had no issues with them. I've actually never even replaced the lens. And this is my go-to goggle when I'm riding. Um, when it gets dark, I'll switch to my clear lens, but otherwise these are pretty much ran all the time. Low light situations. I have no issues with them too, with this lens combo. Um, yeah, awesome goggles, stage goggles, go check them out. CastleSales.com. Um, I want to say they're about 60 bucks. Let me double check here. $70 for a pair of goggles. So a great deal for what you get. And uh, they also have their stage two goggle, which basically doesn't have this uh, frame around it. It's a, just a full goggle. So that's another option if you guys didn't want to run the smaller, more compact lens with the frame on the outside. All right, I almost forgot to mention on these stage goggles, these are over the glass compatible. So what that means is if you look here on the back side, there's a little cutout right here and right here on each side that allows you, if you're like me, somebody that wears glasses, to wear your glasses on the inside and they don't interfere with your glasses. So super handy and super smart of Castle to think about that for us riders that are a little bit blind <laughs> that need to wear our glasses while we ride. Now, I personally am not that blind. I ride without my glasses, but I have tried this feature. And honestly, I, I don't really, I, more so with my balclava do I not run my glasses than with this uh, goggle setup. But anyway, it is an option for you, so keep that in mind when you're shopping for your goggles. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my review of the CX100 Carbon Helmet and the Stage Goggles from Castle X. If you guys are interested in this, go check out castlesales.com. I will put a link down below in the description and go find you something that fits you. Go find you something that you like, something that fits your style, your look that you're going for, and not only gives you that, but the best protection on the market. I wanna give a huge shout out to Castle X for supporting me this season and um, for giving me the best gear out there. Um, I am more than appreciative to that group. They're a great family to work with, um, a great crew over there, and uh, can't say enough good things about them. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe if you haven't, stay tuned for more review videos, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.